Let's see how she does. <laughs> see if I stay on my feet. Lord, man. <laughs> Woo! I love it. <laughs> Good God, man. <laughs> Last minute, man. And we're back on the range. I'm with my good buddy, Mr. Obvious. And he brought something really, really cool today. And uh, what might that be? Well, first of all, I have to say, I have to lay it all on this guy. He wanted something that had some serious power. He said, man, what can we do for a video Good punch. that has got a punch to it, yeah. um, maybe a little bit on both ends. You yeah. know, I'm like, something that's kill power, something you don't see a lot of, hear a lot of. I said, I think I got just the ticket. So we brought, and I have one in a uh, Thompson Center, a 35 Whaling. So this is a very unrated gun. It's uh, Townsend Whalen, I guess, designed it and uh, years ago. And it, it, it's kind of popular, but it ain't. I don't know why, but I mean, this thing here, you're talking about power. Well, it, it's got a cult following from what I've looked up yeah. on it. And, and you, <laughs> you got to shoot it to understand why. Yeah. I mean, this thing, if you like something with a lot of recoil, and I do, I think it's fun. This thing's got it. Yeah. <laughs> this thing, it's it's like it, it's it's it's. <laughs> yeah, they call it a poor man's magnum. This thing's shoving a uh, 200 grain bullet. So we've got two different loads. We're gonna try here. We set up a chronograph, so we're gonna see if we can get some speeds out of a 200 grain bullet. See if it'll shove this bullet faster than what a 300 magnum can shove a uh, 200 grain bullet. So we're gonna I, put it to the I'm test. I'm excited to see. So th this will be something a little different and uh, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Just stick with it. All right, Mr. Obvious, talk us through what's about to happen. All right, we're about to take this big old 35 whaling. Basically it's a necked up 30 alt six and we're gonna see what kind of speeds we get out of this 200 grain bullet down at that 100 yard target, if we can even hit it. We just put this scope on last night, it's kind of bore-sided, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, I've got uh, one here, I'm ready to go already, so. See what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna show what this does to your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I needed something higher up, but. swinging that target back there oh. now let me get over here mr obvious and show the folks at home that is 3074 feet per second and man when you see it hit that target good god i'll show that next time well i'll tell you about it i, I you know you get 3074 feet per second Hey, that's devastating on any size game. I'm talking elk, moose, deer. Yeah, that's a 200 grain wrecking ball now. That's serious. You put a 200 grain <laughs> bullet in a 300 bag and see what you get. If you check your load specs and data and stuff, I would say it's uh, it's going to be, might get 28, 2900 maybe. I don't know. All but, right. Now you, I'm going to show the target get hit this time. Good God, man. That was just the muzzle flash. Muzzle <laughs> flash. Yeah, the muzzle flash. Blew that off. 3,125. Good God, man. All right. <laughs> Look at the, the muzzle blast blew all this off. Oh, my gosh. You, you should have seen the flame that popped out of that. I'm telling you. 
a 35 whaling. <laughs> All right. A 35 whaling that's devastating. Right. Here we are. Last minute man said, man, I got to shoot got that shoot. gun. <laughs> he said, let me shoot it. He wasn't going to shoot it. Now he wants the punishment. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. He, it. he couldn't stand the pressure like that gun's putting out. He just couldn't stand it. So he's going to, uh, you have to kind of get it in center there, right down the center of that chronograph and <laughs> and uh see what you can do with it okay i almost need to raise this a little bit all right let me get down low i think my torso is taller than yours i can't get down low <laughs> we might have back that table up a little bit away from that chronograph yep what do you think the pressure off that thing is just unreal all right, here we go. Woo! All right. Woo. 2664. 2664. All right, that is a different load. That was uh, a little weaker. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it's weaker. That is uh, Varget powder. All right. I'm not going to tell the load. All right, let's load another one up. All right. Let's get you back up to speed. This is Hogden 335. Now that one wasn't punishing. I was shooting this earlier. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, that last round I shot wasn't punishing like these other ones. Now yeah. these things, these things hit. Oh yeah. All right. Now you got the hot load back in there if you wanna go for the punishment. So we got him broke in now. He, he, he kind of got the feel of old girls. <laughs> So, let's see what happens. I'll tell you what, I cannot get comfortable. Yeah, so I don't know where it's going to hit with that other load, but. Yep. Well, yep. let's see if I can keep it on target here. Yep. Just squeeze her off. Take your time. Three thousand one twenty-six. Woo! Good God, man. <laughs> Had a little more punch to it. Yeah, feels good though. <laughs> 3,126, wow. I'm telling you, this thing's serious. Yeah, you wanna try her again? Well, heck, man, if you're <laughs> offering, I'll keep shooting. I, I'm wanting to get rid of this old ammo up. This is not really, uh, I, I loaded them for another gun. They're working out of that gun. Yeah. So, you know, I, I soaked the other gun so I'm kind of wanting right. to get rid of them so I can resize them for that gun. So we're kind of blowing this. the cases out might anyway. Might as well be kneeling. Yep. <laughs> All yep. right. Yep. Just hold dead center and take your time. Woo! Whew. You rung steel that time. Yeah. Our chronograph flew apart again. Huh? <laughs> 20, well, that was a little slower. 29, uh, 42 on the chronograph. Yep. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> so that thing's running. I mean, we're running. Three now, Mr. Obvious, we've been shooting all day, but this is the 35 whaling. Let's show them. We've been hitting this with the 308, 65 Creedmoor, and today the 35 whaling. Look at that. Putting dings in AR500 steel just craters in it that is unreal. I, I, I can't believe it actually i thought the 308 for sure would do more damage but this wow it's unreal. just good god yeah i mean that's half inch heavy plate steel it didn't bulge the back side but hit your crater to front awesome awesome well good god man what do you think about that <laughs> I think good God, man. This is awesome. <laughs> and what a beautiful day to be out here yeah. doing this. And, uh, you know, seriously, just this, it couldn't be any better. Yeah. This is some of the most fun I've had shooting in probably at least a week. So, uh, uh, but this thing, man, is just what a rocket. <laughs> it, it's a powerhouse, a very underestimated round. This gun is a very devastating, whatever it hits. You got that 200 grain bullet over 3,000 feet per second. Look out. Shame on what it hit. Oh, man, I'm telling you. And again, if you're uh, recoil sensitive at all, this is not the gun for you. <laughs> this is not the gun or the round for you. 
But if you're like me and you're you're a little bit uh, warped uh, and you like the punishment and the pain, <laughs> this is your gun, man. That's and uh, I'm gonna have to get me one. I borrow this one. You might want deer hunt this year. So. <laughs> oh no, I'm 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 gonna buy one. That way I can just come out here and shoot steel all day. What about the way it rung that steel? Hit that target just swing. Golly, like man, you know that's crippling power. Oh, I God. mean, just uh, yeah, if it's if it's exerting that much force, mm. you know you're feeling it. Yeah. So, uh, well, anyway, this has been Last Minute Man with Mr. Obvious, reminding you keep your knives sharp, keep your powder dry. Subscribe to Last Minute Man. Give him uh, comments on what you think about the 35 Whaler.